Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software of CCTV industry. This software is all about a standalone camera of Hik Vision. Today we are talking about EasyVis for PC. So don't skip the video. In this video, we are going to discuss with you in detail each and every option of EasyVis for PC app. Means how you connect your Hig vision standalone camera to your PC. Okay, so keep watching till end. Please like, share our video, and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is basically EasyVis for PC? EasyVis for PC is a CMS which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your PC. It is used to monitor the remote camera over the internet on the remote locations. So by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view but you can see the multiple channel at a time you take the snapshot of the video you control the image parameter network parameter and you can save the live view of the camera you can record the camera and many more so let us start that now will tell you that how you get this installation file so for that you should open your browser and search for Google for easy viz for PC. And here you find the download center of easy viz and a website and another easy viz. But I, pre I generally prefer because this is the place where you not only download the file, uh, but you are able to see the what how you can configure the software to make the camera live. So just go to this site and try to find the download button here you should find the download button just click on that and again you should wait for a few seconds here just click this file Now to start downloading. Let the download let the downloading to be finished, and after that we'll tell you that how you install this software. So just click on this and just right click because this download file is in .zip format or .rar format, so you should extract it first. Right click on the downloaded file and click to extract to EasyVis app for PC. When you do that. You find that a folder name is same as finally just open the folder and here it is our installer file or application file all.exe file no matter from where you get this application file now the main process start from the here just right click on this on the downloaded file and click as run as administrator and click yes And click next and again click next and just click on the create desktop icon and again click installed now it is totally automatic process please wait to the installation to be completed when you when it is completed you find the option like launch easy with studio just click finish when you do this automatically launch the software and you should find also an icon here now this is the interface of the software just open it first thing you should do you should login login it just click on the login here you can take your location india and you use your username and password so in my case i have already registered it so i use username and password you can register by clicking on register and you can do by your own and just click login now it is login this is the interface of the software after login so you should do that you should click on the add device or here you should find that all devices and here you have find the option add just click on that okay so basically my devices 
my PC and my device both are the same network that's why it, you show the setting here otherwise you should click on manually add and this is the correct way of manually add okay most cases you want to click by manually add because your camera is somewhere else and you know the only serial number so that is the most probable thing you going to be happen okay here you find with auto add when you click on the auto add your device come automatic automatically because you and your device both are connected to same network network means on the local network or on this connected with the same router so that's why it will shown here when you click on this you find that it asks for a password okay and click on manually add then again you should enter serial number serial number is the number that where you get serial number here you should find that written on the box of the of your camera you can find on the sticker stick on the camera okay so you should note that serial number in my case i my serial number is here and i just enter my serial number and click search now okay so by device come here just click on this add option here it, you find that the it asks for a password so don't be confused it is not a device password sometimes it may be device password but in my case it is a, it is a encryption code and uh, when you enable hit connect it asks for the password okay so you should enter that code over there when you click on the platform access and enable hit connect and over there you enter your security code so you should basically insert that security code here okay not the device password in some cases you may enter the device password so here i should enter my code and click okay when i do this it asks me for specific reasons to change my password just click cancel okay and here the how you want to display the name of device for example if you are adding this home camera then you here you can install home camera and whatever you do whatever you want uh, the thing which you easily remember you should enter that name here just click complete and you see that your device comes online when you click on this here again it for for a video in, is encrypted so again you should use the encryption key so where do you get encryption key is the serial number and verification code is here so i should enter my verification code if you want that how you get the verification code then definitely i will make a video or i will tell you if you comment on this if you don't know it very simple okay just click okay now it takes time when my camera comes on it takes time when my camera comes on so basically audio is enabled just close the audio so my camera is audio enabled so you can see the camera clearly here okay now again so this is the way that to add the camera lively on your pc here you find the more option like a single view of the camera like the multi view of the camera you can change from here okay so now i will elaborate option one by one so if you want to live record of your camera just click on this when you do this your all the camera comes offline okay when again you can play the this button the camera comes online now you find the option many option from here here you find the local recording here and here you find the account formations like my account whatever whatever i made and again just go to the option and now just click right click on the option here you find the stop option enable audio capture start recording and if you want to rec live record the of your camera means you want to record the live view of the camera just click on start recording here it is started you can see here it, it is start recording and when you again click on the this just click on stop recording it is saved on your system and where if, from where you should access you should click on the gallery here you find it 
it if you want to take a snapshot just click capture when you do this again go to the local access you find that screenshot is there so basically where you should go you should go on this four dot button and go to the local okay now just click on the all devices and here if you want to check network setting just click on this here you find your local setting here okay and just click on advance it asks for a verification code again now from here you are able to see all the setting for example my device model number lan speed everything is here here if you want to check the network setting you can check the setting from here here you can found advanced option and here you find the net option and all the option from here here you find the ddns option and here you want easy wiz option when you you see that when you log in this option on your pc here you ask for ask for a verification code so you should enter that verification code which asked in the screen earlier so at um, you can, you should log in your device on a web browser locally and after that you are able to access all the setting i will show you in this video later okay and you here you find the date time setting here you find the uh, time setting and all the thing from here and even you can see the storage even type all the thing you should shoot from here okay and you can enable the motor motion detection all the thing from here like motion detection video video custom second setting all the thing from here there is lot of option you can check by your own okay let's close this option and again close this option now i will tell you where you get the screen so by using this software you see the live view of the camera and you are able to record the live view of the camera you can take the screenshot of the live view of the camera so you can you can you are able to hear the voice of the camera and even you can communicate it okay if camera is too audio you can like this is this camera is supposed to have okay so in this way you can check the recording and all the things now i will tell you that how you get the verification code okay just open your browser and enter your local ip address and here you should enter device username and password and click login now just close this option and here you find the configuration option and go to the network and go to the advanced setting and after that go to platform access when you do that here you found that your hick enable hick connect and here is a encryption so you should use this when your camera ask for a encryption key or us it don't take your password then you should keep use that code here whatever code you is you use here and when you it ask for a stream key a stream encryption or encryption key then you should use that this one okay so that uh, make your doubt clear that how you get description key so that's all for this video thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day